So, yep, this, you can move this over to the group attempt. Um, ladies and gentlemen, we have the term in the 40th term. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go over an example, and then I will basically give you guys um, another example to go ahead and attempt on your own. So basically, in this example, what we're trying to do is it's saying determine the 40th term. Now, first thing we want to do is determine, is, is this an arithmetic sequence? So we look at the terms and we say, all right, is the difference between the terms exactly the same? Yeah, you could subtract them, but this one's pretty obvious. You can see that the difference between your terms is 2, right? So um, to determine, you could easily just keep on adding 2 all the way up till you get to the 40th term, right? That's the first term, second term, third term, fourth term. And you could keep on doing that to 40 terms. However, if you're taking a test, that's probably not the best use of your time, right? Or what if I gave you the 400th term? Are you really going to want to count all the terms adding 2 up to 400? No, not really. So what we're going to want to use is our explicit formula, which I provided to you guys. So the explicit formula is a sub n equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. So now what we want to do is we need to determine what, our, um, what is the 40th term. So just like we did last class period, when we want to find, remember when we said find the first term, we plugged in 1 in for here and for the a of a sub 1, and then that 1 got plugged in for the n. Do you guys remember that? And then we found the first number, and then when we did a sub 2, we plugged in 2 in for n. So when we want to find a sub 40, we're going to plug 40 in for n. Oh. Then, do we know what the first term in the sequence is? 3. Three. And then d is the difference, which is 2. So now, to find the 40th term, ladies and gentlemen, we have all the information we need. We just now need to simplify. Now make sure we apply order of operations. This is where a lot of students make mistakes. 40, you've got to do inside the parentheses first. 40 minus 1 is going to be 39. I'll just do this step by step. Then we have to make sure we multiply before we add. So 38. 39, sorry, times 2 is going to be 78. Back up. What do you mean, like, my work? Like, from here to here? So all I did was I subtracted 40 minus, 40 minus 1 was 39. Because remember, rules of order of operations say you have to do inside the parentheses first. Then I did that. Then the rules of exponents say you have to multiply and divide before you add and subtract. So I multiplied these two before I added the 3 which gave me 78. Now I'm just going to add these two, which will give me a sub 40 equals 81. Done. Fine. Isn't that easy? So you always take the subtraction 